Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ekitu Tinubu, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at powerful prayer for manifesting my miracle. Powerful prayer for manifesting my miracle. Now, this prayer is targeted to those who are believing God for a miracle. You are believing God for a miracle in your life. You are believing God for a miracle in your business, in your career, in your ministry, in your destiny. This prayer is for you. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, Jesus said, With men, these things may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. In Mark 9.23, the Bible said, If thou canst believe, all things are possible. Now listen to me, child of God. Miracles are real. And miracles happen to God's children who believe. Now, if we can believe God for a miracle, we can see it manifest in our life, even today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, there are two things that can guarantee a miracle in the life of a believer. There are two things that can guarantee a miracle in the life of a believer. Number one is your faith. You must believe in the God of miracles. If you don't believe in the God of miracles, you can't see miracles in your life. If you don't believe that God can actually do a miracle in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, if you don't believe that God can actually do a miracle, you may not see a miracle. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, it said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. In other words, without faith, it is impossible for God to reach out to you. Without faith, it is impossible for God to help you. You know, while Jesus was on earth, he kept saying one word to everyone that he did a miracle for. He kept telling them, your faith has given you your miracle. Your faith has given you your miracle. He told it to the woman with the issue of blood. He told it to the Syrophoenician woman, that the, that's the Canaanite woman. He told it to Bat Batimaos, your faith has made you whole. He told it to the centurion, your faith has made you whole. He saw the faith of the man that was paralyzed, that was led from the roof down to him and he saw the bible says jesus saw his faith and he received this miracle so the first thing is your faith the first thing is your faith if your faith if you believe in the god of miracles you are going to see his miracles in your life number two is your mouth you must speak what you believe you must declare what you believe you must call forth your miracle when you wake up in the morning you begin to declare your miracle in mark 11 23 to 24 the bible said if you have faith and don't doubt we can speak to a mountain and it will move to the sea and if as long as we don't doubt he said we shall have whatsoever we say we shall have whatsoever we say and that's the last word in that scripture mark 11 23 24 you shall have whatsoever you say now if you cannot speak your miracle you cannot see it any miracle you cannot speak forth you cannot see it faith is expressed by your words doubt is also expressed by your words faith is expressed by your word doubt is also expressed by your word the bible said the roman stand with the heart man believeth unto righteousness but with the mouth with the mouth your belief is manifested from your mouth. Confession is made unto salvation. You see, it is your mouth that will manifest your faith. Your, your faith lies in your heart, but when you speak it out, it is manifested. That's why the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. If the mouth does not speak, the abundance of the heart cannot be manifested. You cannot be saying, I believe in miracles, and you are still talking uh, 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 faithlessness. Maybe you say, I believe in healing and you are still talking sick. I believe in marital restoration and you are still complaining about your marriage. I, you cannot be saying, I believe in financial blessings. I believe, I believe I am blessed. You, 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 in your heart, you believe you are blessed and in your mouth, you are saying you are cursed or you are under a spell. No. If you believe it in your heart, you will speak it from your mouth. And when these two things are combined together, miracles becomes inevitable. When the faith in the heart merges with the confession of the mouth, miracles becomes inevitable. When the faith in the heart, the Bible says, with the heart, man believeth. When the faith in the heart merges with the confession of the mouth, miracles becomes inevitable. So this hour, we're going to be praying. We are going to be praying. I believe by now that you believe that God is the doer of miracles. You believe in the God of miracles. So we are going to be praying. I want you to pray these prayers with me. And I want you to pray these prayers over and over again. If you are believing God for a miracle, pray this prayer every morning you wake up. Pray it. Pray it and the God of miracle will manifest himself. In fact, if you pray it seven days stretch, 
you will see a miracle in your life. If you pray, pray these prayers for seven days stretch, you will see a miracle in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you set to pray with me? Now, pray these prayers with me. Say with me. Say, Father, I thank you for you are the God of miracles. Now begin to appreciate him. If you believe he's the God of miracles, begin to say it out right now. Begin to say it out right now. Father, I thank you for you are the God of miracles. You are the God of miracles. Say that prayer right now. Let the Lord hear your voice. Father, I thank you for you are the God of miracles. Jesus, I thank you for you are the God of miracles. Say it with all your heart. Father, I thank you for you are the God of miracles. You are Jehovah, the God of miracles. You are Jehovah, the God of miracles. Lord, I give you praise. Jesus, I adore you. Ancient of days, I magnify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you are the God of miracles. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, pray this next prayer with me. Say, Father, show me mercy today and visit me with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. My Father and my God, show me mercy today. Show me mercy. I know it's not by power, it's not by my mind, but it's by your mercy. Show me mercy today and visit me with your power. Visit me with your miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, show me mercy today. Pray for his mercy. The Bible says we should come boldly to his throne of grace and receive mercy. Father, show me mercy today and visit me with your power. Show me mercy today and visit me with your power. My Lord and my God, show me mercy today and visit me with your power. Show me mercy today and visit me with your power. Jehovah, show me mercy today and visit me with your power. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer. Pray this next prayer with me. Say, O oh God, deliver me today from the spirit of doubt. Many people, the reason why they can't see miracles in their life is because they doubt a lot. He said, if you will not doubt in your heart, faith lives in the heart, doubt lives in the heart. Oh God, deliver me today from the spirit of doubt. Any spirit that doubts miracles, any spirit that doubts divine intervention. Oh God, deliver me from the spirit of doubt. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Jehovah my God, my Father and my Lord, deliver me, Father, from the spirit of doubt. Whatever makes me doubt your word, whatever makes me doubt your manifestation, whatever makes me doubt your divine intervention, deliver me, Jesus, from the spirit of doubt. My Father and my God, deliver me today, O Lord, from the spirit of doubt. Father, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. Mighty in battle, deliver me. O Lord, my Father, deliver me from the spirit of doubt. Deliver me, O Father, from the spirit of doubt. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Next prayer. Say with me. Now, I want you, this is, we have prayed against the spirit of doubt. We have prayed for his mercy. Now, it is time for us to call forth our miracle. I want you to pray these next few prayers with all your heart. You're going to be calling forth your miracles. That miracle you are believing God for, you're going to be calling it forth. You're going to be calling it forth. Are you set to pray this next prayer? Now say with me. Say, I call forth miracles today in my life and destiny. I call for, begin to call it forth right now. Miracles begin to manifest in my life. Miracles begin to manifest in my destiny. I call forth miracles in my life in my destiny. Let miracles begin to manifest in my life right now. Let miracles begin to manifest in my destiny right now. I call forth miracles in my life. I call forth miracles in my destiny right now. Makarubasika. Someone that's praying this prayer right now, you begin to see miracles. You begin to see miracles. You begin to see miracles. You're, you're going to begin to see miracles. I call forth miracles in my life. I call forth miracles in my destiny. I call forth miracles in my life. Miracles begin to happen in my life. Miracles begin to happen in my destiny. I call it forth right now. I call it forth right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now pray the next prayer. Say with me. Now we're going to be calling forth miracles in our finances and in the works of our hands. There are many people, they struggle a lot. They walk and walk and walk. And yet they see little to nothing. Now, because their labor is void of favor, favor is God's miracle. 
Many people, they are labor. They work two, three jobs, four jobs, and yet no favor. Always, always lacking. Always functioning at red lines. Always eating from hand to mouth. Praise the Lord. You, you, you labor. You are not lazy, but yet you are struggling because there is no miracle in your finances. There is no miracle in the works of your hands. We're going to be praying. We're not going to be calling forth miracles. From today, favor will anoint our labor. Are you set to call forth miracles? Now, pray this next prayer with me. Say, I call forth miracles today in my finances and the works of my hands in the mighty name of Jesus pray that prayer ma so pray ma tanda raba shanda le ruba ba so zore tenoka i call forth miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ pray that prayer with all your heart le baroda le kenoda ma tanada zemenegede i call forth miracles i call forth miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands i call forth miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands i call forth miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands me kato kashagaga, me teno kagayata, ribo se prementa. I call for miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands. Let favor anoint my labor. Let favor anoint my labor. Let favor anoint my labor. I call for miracles in my finances and in the works of my hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Pray this next prayer with me. Now you're going to be calling forth miracles in your health. The Bible said in Exodus 23, 25, it says, Ye shall serve the Lord thy God, and he will bless your bread and water. When he has blessed the works of your hand, he will take sickness away from you. What is the point having money and spending it on sickness? God wants you to be wealthy and blessed financially and also in your health. So you're going to be calling forth miracles on your health. Now listen to me. If there's any way you are feeling pain right now, as you are calling for this miracle, lay your hand on that place. If it is in your heart, if it is in your body, your organs, anywhere, if you don't know how to touch the place, put your hand on your head. As you are calling for the miracle in your head, there will be instant healing. Instant healing. Post your instant healing in the chat session and in the comment section. As you are calling forth miracles right now, the power of God is where you are right now. As you are calling for miracle in your head, that blood disease will be healed. That cancer will be healed. That uh, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, high sugar, low sugar, diabetes, arthritis, whatever it is that has been giving you sleepless nights, it will be healed by the hand of God as you call forth miracles right now. Are you said, do you believe? And are you said to call forth? Say with me. Say, I call forth miracles today in my health. I receive instant healing right now in the mighty name of your prayer. Prayer. I call forth miracles. I call forth miracles in my health. I receive instant healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to call it forth. Begin to call it forth. I call forth miracles. I call forth miracles in my health. I call forth miracles in my health. I receive instant healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive my instant healing. Healing from sicknesses and disease. Blood disease, viral disease, whatever disease. I declare my instant healing right now. Begin to pray. That place where you are feeling pain, the pain is gone right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are not able to walk properly. Get up and start walking properly right now. You are healed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call forth miracles on my health. I receive instant healing right now. I receive instant healing right now. I receive instant healing right now. Somebody in your next medical checkup, your doctor will confirm your healing. Your doctor will confirm your healing. Receive instant healing right now. Receive instant healing right now. Receive instant healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, pray this next prayer with me. Say, I call forth miracles in any other area of my life. Now, any area you need miracles, begin to call it forth. Any area, 
in the in your marriage in your business any area you need miracle be specific with god i need miracles in my office i need miracle in, in my academics i need miracle with my visa i need miracle here i need miracle there i need miracle in the life of my children i need the miracle right now begin to call for that miracle you need that area you need miracle begin to command miracle to show for there don't beg for miracle call it forth call it forth the bible says you shall have what you say if you believe and don't doubt in your heart call forth miracle in that area See, I call forth miracle in my visa. I call forth miracle in my health. I call forth miracle in my office concerning my promotion. I call forth a miracle in the life of my child. I call forth a miracle in the life of my son, my life of my daughter. I call forth a miracle in this court case. Begin to call forth a miracle. Begin to call forth a miracle. As you call it forth, it will manifest. As you call it forth in that area of your life, that miracle will manifest. As you call it forth in that area of your life, that miracle will manifest. I call for that miracle. I call it forth. I call it forth. Let it manifest right now. Let it manifest right now. Let it manifest right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your hands to heaven. Begin to appreciate the Lord for answered prayers. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we adore you. Ancient of days, we magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your miracle. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for manifesting your miracles in our life. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, I encourage you, pray these prayers for seven days stretch. You will see a miracle. Pray this prayer for seven days stretch. You will see a miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. You are favored. In the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you, get our books. We have powerful prayer books on Amazon. The link of those books are in the description of this video. Get them, build your spiritual life through prayers, and you will be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Also, we have a school of deliverance with powerful courses that will guarantee your deliverance. I encourage you to enroll and run some of those courses, and you'll be glad you did. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And also, if you want me to cancel you one-on-one, -on -one, you want me to pray with you one-on-one, -on -one, I encourage you to become a partner through our Patreon. The link is also in the description of this video and also in the comment section. Become a partner through our Patreon and you'll be glad you did in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I will see you in the next prayer meeting. Bye for now.